can I share a brief conversation we had with the audience real quick? Just two texts. Oh, sure. Earlier today, um, I would said, I dealt with two Karens today, like at work. They were both bugging me. And your response was, I got to pet a dog and decorate cake. I am a happy person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to which I said, brag about it. Mm-hmm. And then what did I say? You, no, 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 I, I'm just saying, I'm not, we're not debating that, because it was just the fact that you immediately were like, I well, got I to pet a dog. I didn't read what you said. It yeah. was just, I got out of work, and I wanted to tell you that I got to pet a tiny doggo and decorate a cake. Yeah. Can I tell, uh, while, you, while you, like, load up and pick where you want to go, can I tell about the two Karens I had to deal with at work today? Mm. Oh, yeah, go for it. I'm gonna move. Uh, also, what I replied with was I had to deal with two people stealing, and, uh, yeah. ooh. Yeah, it's going to sound terrible, but I wanted the mic a little bit closer to you. I had to deal with two people stealing and a Karen of my own. Yeah. I had to deal with two, and one wasn't as bad as the other, but she moved like a bird. And like kind of bird, like a bird, like she when she talked, she flapped her arms and she moved in her head in five directions before finishing a sentence. Did you uh, turn the volume down? I don't think I did. I had the remote in the end. Ah crap. So, uh, I had it. So she moved like a bird and she tilted tilted her head uh, like in five directions before she finished her sentence. I think you just gotta go to the jungle. Might as well get level two in the night. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can get, I can get, oh, I remember what I was gonna do from last time. Yeah. I was gonna get, um, Vespa Queen. Oh, yeah. Anyways, so that, but, uh, oh, God, I don't remember any of the buttons. That's not the button. A. A is the button. A is the button? Oh, it is the button. Anyways, so she, she like, flapped her arms and moved her head in, like, five directions before she, uh, before she finished her sentence. But what, what happened was, and I want to point out, this is, oh, look at the sleeping area of this. That's not, what, what could that be? Don't know. I love how the game's like, I don't know. What what is this phenomenon? Anyways. It still counts as a moral. <laughs> Thought maybe it wouldn't. <laughs> Hi children. Anyway, so what happened was I I wanna point out, where I work, I my current position is basically a janitor. Yeah. So uh it's a stupid position. It's a terrible position that I didn't apply for, but here I am. Anyways, it's also not your actual job. It's just what they've decided to make you do. Yeah. Anyway, so I can finish my story. Sorry. So it's not my job to, like, help people like this. Like, I, if you ask me a thing, I don't have to be like, oh, I know where that is. I can just be like, screw off. There it is. Oh, I didn't know these two cans were here. Those are just, two cans are just two cans. Yeah. It's such a boring Pokemon. It's not even like they have, like, a cannon or anything. They're just... I think they can shoot, like, uh, something out of their beak. Oh, maybe. That would make sense. I know the Picky Pack can. Anyways, so what happened was, uh, this woman stops me and is like, Excuse me, do you have, like, any more Diet Pepsi in the back? And I'm like, we are literally not in charge of stocking our own, uh, sodas. That someone comes in, they put on the shelf for us. Mm, mm-hmm. Like, because that's a thing at stores. Yes. So, uh... I, I, I tell her that, it's like, well, can you go, t well, can you get someone who can help? It's like, I, there's no one who can help you with this. We don't have anyone here. But I was like, I'll go look in the back. And I, I went up to one of us, I was like, do we have any more Diet Pepsi? And he went over, he looked, and he's like, no. And I'm like, cool. I went up to her, I was like, we don't have any more Diet Pepsi. Oh, so what can we exchange it with? It's like, why are you asking me? I, I don't know. I literally, you just stopped the first employee. I had to go to the back to find someone who can tell me if I, if we even had any. Like, this is not my job. Those leaves are very low poly. They are. They're like, don't take a picture of the leaves, you silly Billy. Take a picture of the Pokemons. 
At least the Pokemon look good. That's the thing I've always realized. When you put these games oh, on Oh, is that where the Toucanon is? Yeah. yeah. You see in the background there? You got a good one there. That's a great shot of those leaves. Kid, are you okay? I've realized that these games do not look good if you put them on the big screen. I noticed that a lot when I was playing Breath of the Wild. Anyways, so so I, so I'm like, I, I can't help you with that. I literally am not able to. It's like, well, who can? And she's like getting annoyed at this point. And her husband's with her. And he's like, and he like clearly doesn't want to say it. But you can hear his tone. He's like, honey, just leave the nice kid alone. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm not like, going to hit you this time. Yeah, there's always like, I always feel sorry for those kinds of husbands who are like, just, just leave him alone, please, honey. Yeah. And but they can't say anything. Yeah. So they anyway. Get slapped. If they say anything. So anyway, she's like, "Who can't help us?" And I was like, "Uh, you'd have to speak to a manager." It's like, "Can you get them for me?" It's like, "No." No. I and I was like, "Go, go to the front end. Look for someone, who like look for someone wearing this because our managers wear something specific." And then I'm like, great. And then they finally left me alone. It's like, okay, so I had to do extra stuff for us, and you're and you're just like, uh, complain. The the other per the other person I had today, uh, said the most infamous line of something terrible you can say, when dealing with a uh, when uh, with a customer. And I would say the two worst things you can say, when uh as a customer are the customer is always right and I shop here every day. Oh my god. Dude. That Okay, wait, finish your story. So that's the w I got today I got I shop here every day. So what happened was again, I'm the janitor. And I would say our there's three types of employees here. There are the people who are in charge of stocking and making sure that everything is there. There are the pe there are the people who are in charge of just getting you out. They're there to make sure you leave as quickly as possible. Like they they just check you out as fast as possible and they uh and they bag your groceries as fast as possible. And then Why are there's both a of these threes. I don't know. I think it's sleeping and dangling. Okay, continue. Sorry. Anyways. And then there's the people and then there's the people who keep the store clean and looking nice. I'm of course the person who keeps it clean and looking nice. So I am waiting outside the woman's bathroom for people to leave. So that way I can get in. Because I'm not allowed to go in there when uh, there's people in there because it's the woman's restroom. Because you know, obvious reasons. Yeah, so I'm not allowed. As I'm waiting out there, there's this woman who comes up and she's like, Can I get in there? And I was like, I am just waiting on a couple people to leave, and now only be a couple minutes cleaning. And and uh, she she keeps saying, "Yeah, it's like I'm just going to be a couple minutes. I'm just waiting on a couple people to leave." And she's like slowly getting annoyed, and she proceeds to be like, "I shop here every day. I got a little bit of shopping to do, but I just want to do this first. Okay. And it's like, and I I'm just like, "All right, go in." That's 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 all I said. I said, "All right, go ahead." And like, I. After that, she like kind of doubles back when I say, "All right, go ahead," and then she goes up and she goes to the door. And as she's going, it's like, "You are very rude." Like what I do, I let you go in. Is it because I didn't let you in immediately? Because I'm trying to do my job. My job is not to be nice to you. I love how that shot was better. It was better. That was a way worse shot. Let me make it clear. My job is not to be nice to you. I'm not your friend. Yeah. I don't care about We're you. We're not your friend. I am literally here to get you out of this store as fast as possible. I don't like you. I don't like you. <laughs> the quote from any retail or like fast food employee ever is, I don't like you. <laughs> that's like, that's the motto of our lives. Like, you're not my friend and I don't like you. Yeah. I mean, with... All the, th the different many positions that I have to do, I have to be nice to people. Yeah, like that's the thing. But no uh, matter how nice we are, you're not our friend unless like we specifically or or like have a connection. And we're like, hey, let's be friends. I think there's three. I think like how I said, there's three levels of employees. There's three levels of customers. There's like friend, acquaintance, and get the hell out of the store as fast as you can. Mhm. Mm and this woman was the the last one. I think there were any that I wanted to, but I wanted to. Anyway, as I was waiting outside, she comes out, and she's like, 
You were very rude. I who is your supervisor? Oh my god. Yeah, the again, uh who the who is your supervisor? And um after and I, I'm just like, just look for anyone wearing this. Again, our managers wear very specific stuff, so I'm like, just look for anyone wearing this and complain to them. Yeah. I don't think she complained to the right person. Oh, I'm sure not. I think she complained to the self-checkout lady. Idiot. But I actually went to one of my managers, and because she was talking about another customer who's like, I'm trying to get into, who apparently while I was cleaning the women's restroom, tried to get and be like, I want to clean. Why are you guys tuck it out? You literally sit in a car and just take pictures, like, from a distance. Yeah, for real. Like, how are you tired? Anyways. Uh... But I explained to what happened, and she's like, yeah, I'll be honest, if it's like a customer comes up and complains about someone who's like never gets complaints, I know the customer's wrong. Yeah. Manager, like, if you get a good manager, the manager's usually cool. I've only had one manager, like, stop to me and, like, talk about a customer. It's like, I know it's not your fault, but just pretend to care. But just pretend to care. Uh, sir, I'm gonna need to be paid, sir or madame, I'm gonna need to be paid more, uh, in order to, uh, start giving a single fork. Yeah, it was, it was, basically his advice was oh, if you, because he was explaining that if you don't know where something is, just try to point them to someone who will. Oh, he's explaining that you have the, uh, the lullaby I can play now. music. I can yeah. go la, la, la. I, uh, he hired a Jigglypuff. Yeah. I'll... So now a Jigglypuff lives in my camera. <laughs> it's one of those really tiny ones. Yeah. Like a fetus Jigglypuff. <laughs> Can we say that? Yeah. You can just be a baby Jigglypuff. Fetus is a baby. I know, but like, in this context it feels a little bit weird. I don't know, maybe it's just me personally. I, I don't have those. I don't have those. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. You don't have a fetus. I have a fetus. Well, not right now. But... Hopefully not right now. <laughs> no. No. I mean, uh, unless if you count the cat Ollie, and the dog as fetus on, if, if Ollie's parents are watching this, it's not mine. It's not mine. No, they, they don't give a single fork. Um, I don't think any of our parents watch watch these videos. Hold on. I want to go get the Leaf Young real quick. Okay. But anyway, um, uh, I want to say, if you ever... I want to say, if you ever have said did you I start a timer? I did. Okay. I want to say if you have ever said the words I shop here every day I don't I hate you. I don't care. Baby come back. She 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 was like she looked at me and said I shop here every day. I was like I've never seen you before in my life. <laughs> do you do you think we are trained on who shops here? Um no. On it but there are some No come back I've been betrayed of the highest order. Um, do I have to play the music to get the Leafeon to like me? I don't know. I haven't gotten it to like me, honestly. Oh, oh. there's the Argodos. Snooze. Snooze spood. Is this technically a spooder? Because Arachnids have eight legs. Argodos only has four. Technically it has six if you count those two back things. I don't. Okay. Uh, <laughs> those... then no, it's not an Arachnid. It's a, um, oh my god, hello. Bye just a regular insect isn't it yeah i mean it is technically bug type where the oh there you are no <laughs> by that by that logic i don't think there's like an actual spider pokemon um what about the big joltic that only has six does it i think so i forget what joltic of all now i play music uh this one Oh, no, it doesn't like music. Nope. Okay, I'm going to look up real quick. What Joltik evolves into and see. Okay. <gasps> it sniff sniffed. It evolves into Galvantula. <gasps> look at the little bone sweet. Yeah, only six legs. They're in the bone sweet. They're having a date. It honestly looks like you know, it has four and like two little feeler things on its face. Oh my god, I'm dead. Look at it. Look at it doing snoozing. I honestly think a lot of these shots are way too close. That's a good shot, though. 
The, the Morlows look like they're flat on their face. They look like they're dead. Because they are. <gasps> Big Kipper! Big Kipper. I love Swampert. I just like Kipper. Dude, Swampert... Sw can I just say, the Mudkip family has, like, this weird middle child. They do have this weird middle <laughs> so child. So, it goes, like, adorable little Mudkip. The, what uh, the hell? Yeah. Awesome Swampert. What is Marsh Stomp? Marsh Stomp is the disgrace of the family. Yeah. But I mean, like, you know, he tried. He's not, like, adorably goofy like uh, Quagsire. Oh. He's just weird. Yeah. Like, I'd say Quagsire is adorably goofy. <laughs> and, uh... I mean, that is their nest. I think if you're here during daytime, you can find some Pikapex there. Well, I guess that is a toucan, and it looks like a freaking penguin. <laughs> I was like, what is this Pokemon? Everyone knows that toucans are just penguins with beaks, and that can fly. Yeah. Um. This is fun. Oh, hi. This is probably going to be a dumb question. <gasps> the sleeping Pikapex. Oh my god, I love all of you. Those are her children, and don't look at her or her children ever again. It took me a while to figure out how to actually get back there, and it's kind of weird. Oh, hey! Come back! Hi. I've never gotten this leaf here on here. What the heck? Well, I also usually go behind the waterfall. Easy, easy. Look at her go. Look at her go. Look at her go. No, come back. I'm looking at her go. Go far away from you. Right, You're violating the restraining order. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Go right. Look at him! Oh, baby! Oh, sorry, look at her. My bad. Oh my god! Hi! Hi! Oh my lord almighty. You are the cutest. I love you. Goodbye. What is your favorite Eevee illusion? Oh, don't make me pick a favorite child. That's <laughs> awful. Why would, you, why would you ask me that question? <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought you would have like a favorite because I know your favorite Pokemon's Eevee. Yeah. Um I can't pick a favorite Pokemon. Jolteon. Uh, don't worry, I'll never ask that question to our actual children. Because I know you'll have an answer. Alright children who <laughs> here's the thing I feel like you can never ask a parent who's their favorite child. I feel like you can ask a child who's their favorite parent and they will give you the most brutal answer. Oh, for sure. Children are the harshest people ever and they don't children, know it. Children don't have, like, any form of a filter in any way, shape, or form. Like, if you were to ask me now who's my favorite parent, I'd be like, I uh, plead the fifth. Because, like, <laughs> you have, like, no matter what, there's, like, you there's always this <laughs> What are you looking at? That shouldn't count as a... Hmm. But no matter what, there's always like disdain from the other parent. I'm using this. Like, if you... If I were to ask now... His little butt. Look at it! You have so many pictures of this Leafeon. I freaking love Leafeon. That's the four star. You have one four-star picture. Oh. Now I'm curious. What did you get? Wait, what? Okay. Sure. That's definitely four-star. Yeah, sure. Swampert. We had, like, another story, but I can't remember what it was. Um, I had a story, but I don't remember it anymore. It's gone. Oh, I actually had a question for you. Huh. Uh, you said you had a story yes. where apparently you had the I am the manager moment. Oh, um, well, no, we are the managers, ma'am, because there were multiple of us dealing with them at, at one time. Um... Yeah, it's been a while. It's been like I a good couple of days. remember what on earth happened. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember what happened. 
I kind of burned it out of my brain. As you should with uh, with most encounters. Yeah, um, but... Oh! I remember. So, it was a lady. Mm-hmm. Because it always is. Um, no, I've had a moment where it's a guy. I've had a couple moments where it's a guy. I have had one moment where it was a guy, but not like a wood manager thing or anything like that. Um, she, um, she got, so we have like a thing where you can fill up your water, uh, in the back of this, in the back and outside and all over the place because of course we do. And, um, so she was like, yeah, I put, I put the money in, but it didn't start dispensing water or anything. Like, it's not working. It's broken. Can you give me seven, the 70 cents back? And we don't own that machine. That machine is owned by, um, the, like, water company. So we can't, like, they have to call the number on there, like, for customer service to get money back. Because we can't give them money for a different company. It'd be like if someone came up to us for, like, I don't know, like, if there was, like, a soda machine, and they were like, can you refund me for the... Yeah. change in a soda machine it's not our machine we just own it like oh with the red box thing as well like a red box you have to like call the number because um it's not our store like it's not our yeah, thing we totally can't guess. give give you money for something that isn't our property um so she was like can you do this and i was like no and she was like, turned to my coworker who was also like a front end manager person, and she was like, telling the whole story again. And then she went to like four different people, and we were all just standing there, and we were like, no, we can't. And then she was like, well, who is who is your manager? Who is your guys' manager? And all of us were like, we're the managers. She's like, okay, but is there another one? And we were like, sure. You know that meme that's like, sure, Jan. We were like, sure. So we called our our, our quote unquote big guy, who's not really like a big guy or anything. Um, and she, while waiting for him, she started bad mouthing us in front of us to the self checkout person, going, and they just refused to give me and it's like I'm not gonna take time out of my day to call this number for 70 cents and it's like okay but you're taking the time to complain for 70 cents so he, he talked her and she was like yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna call corporate and complain about all of you I'm like yeah okay you won't call the customer service number but you call corporate sure yeah sure 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 I thought, oh did I feel like every time I have like that, that so that was fun. I also have another story, but go ahead, continue. I feel like every time I have that customer who's like, I'm going to like tell your manager who's your manager. They never go to the manager. You can oh, stick no. apple if you if you uh. No, throw, I don't want to. No, if you throw an apple to uh on a cacnea, it'll stick on its spines. I don't want to. Why not? Because I'm busy. What the hell? It's a scroopy. Yeah, I know, but what is it doing? Dude, you're dead now. Dude, that's how you die. What? Dude, this level's kind of a death <laughs> to, uh, Skroopies. I've noticed. Um. Please? Thank you. Yeah. I don't know what I had to say pictures of, so I'm just taking pictures of everything. And, I've, yeah. I've had two customers that, uh... That have been like, I'm going to tell your manager. Neither of them have ever told my manager. Um, I had one the other day where, um, they only spoke Spanish. And we only had one person there at that time, because it was early, um, that spoke Spanish. And 
they were on a register. So, like, they could only help them for a little bit because they had to get back to the register because they, the, they were the only one on the register at the time. Um, oh my god, it's a Tortuiki. A Tortuiki. A Tortuiki. Um. It sounded like you were saying Tortuiki. No, Tortuiki. Do you know the difference between male and female and polynom? Nope. Don't so, care either. Okay, so that's a male. And if you look to your right, you'll see females. And that's pretty obvious. They're behind that rock right now. This rock? No, uh, over to the right more. No, I'm too far to the right. Behind that rock. Okay, so this is a dude, yeah? That's a, that's a male. And it's, pre it's a pretty obvious difference. I just find it interesting. Wolf looking thing. Hi, That's a lichen rock. Thank you. I couldn't remember its name. So the. <gasps> oh, the sleeping Heliolus. It's a It looks thing. dead. I'm dead if I act dead. No one can hurt me. Uh, Butterflies. It's more Vivians. Alright, uh, continue. What was I saying? I, I don't know. I, I don't know what you were saying. I don't know what I was saying. Was I saying anything? Yeah, well, there it goes. Oh, we you were talking about the the, the person this person who uh, is speaking Spanish. Oh, right. So, um, they, uh, that. well, I saw a shadow, so I thought maybe something interesting was up above. You th wait, throw apples into to, uh, ant traps. These? Yeah. Oh. Trap inch! <gasps> They look like they're broken. They look like, you know those toys that you wind up and like They do! They That's totally they look, like. look like that. Oh, and they're gone. They're dead. They suffocated themselves. They no longer exist. They are literally dead. What What was they? They like called the ant trap Pokemon or something. You always insist that trap ants are turtles. I do insist that they're turtles because they look like freaking turtles. They look nothing like They look like turtles. Anyway. Um, they were only allowed to be off the register for a little bit to help them, and they were trying to help them pick out flowers. Mm -hmm. And the do the the person was like, "Hey, um, like they were asking them, what kind of flowers would you want if it was your birthday?" Yada yada yada, and uh, they were like. Oh, well, you know, something like this and this. Like, how old are they? What's your relation to them? Yada, yada, so I can help you better pick it out. And they were like, oh, it's, like, my friend's daughter or something. And they were like, oh, okay. So, how about... You have the worst habit of not playing when talking. I know. Um, <laughs> why? Because it's dying. Cool. Yes. Um... So while they were doing that, they were like, okay, how old are they, yada yada? And they were like, oh, nine, or something like that. And, uh, they were like, okay, maybe don't get them flowers then, maybe get them like a, like a balloon, and like a cake, things like that. And, uh towards the end of the conversation when they had to go back on the register the person was like so like what's your name where are you from yada yada and just overall trying to keep them there when they very clearly had to go back and they're like so you may get a complaint about that I'm like dude don't even freaking they didn't um Cause they were very much like, I gotta, I gotta go, man. I gotta go. Well, you ask someone else. I gotta go. <laughs> uh, so that was fun. They were starting to get a weird vibe too, so they're like, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna go back to my room. I think my biggest horror story from uh, thing was I used to work at a gas station, and uh, we had this discount system if you were like a member, and uh, the corporate never set up my register account properly so i could give discounts to like a little bit before i moved so uh you can just hold the button not when it's new it just takes a sec to show you like that it just goes on you anyway it was like late at night i was closing up i was about to go outside so i can grab some things i need to bring in and uh 
this guy comes out to the window and uh and he was like I want to get gas and he's like I want to put 20 on the system it's like on this pump and it's like okay fine I can do that it's like I also have this oh he's so close Oh, it's so close. I have this. I also have the card for the discount. It's like uh, there's a glitch with our system right now. I can't give you a discount. I'm not my. I'm not able to give you one. Like it, it's it, weird that it wouldn't like automatically do it. Yeah, it only like you have to have like a certain uh, level on the register to be able to give the discount. Weird. Yeah, so if you're like not a high enough level, you're not able to do it. But he's, and, like, he loses it, and he's, like, completely blaming me, and he's like, I came here specifically for the discount. It's like, great, cool, I don't care. Cool. Your life is not my problem. Again, I don't know you, and I don't give a damn. Yeah. I don't know you, and I, frankly, don't care. Like, I, I want to make it clear, if you ever come up to me and, like, tell me your life story at work... It's not important to me. Yeah. Um. Like, I, if you tell me your sob story of why I, you, why you need to like get this discount, or why you should have uh, like some special Rockstar treatment. Cr Rock, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Krabs. Or why you should have like some uh, special treatment. I don't care. I don't care if you shop here every day. I don't care if you drove specifically from a certain area. You get the same treatment as every other customer. Because I'm not allowed to give you better treatment. Yeah. And if you're an asshole, you're definitely not getting a, be a better treatment. My, um... My favorite thing was I had Pikachu! Um... The other day, I had a customer who... Uh, and any place that sells liquor, there's usually liquor that's locked up behind a cabinet for yeah. obvious reasons. Because usually, what I assume is that the company itself that makes the liquor hey, is hey, like... Can, can, I, can I finish this one first before you start that one? Oh, sorry. I didn't no. realize you weren't done. No, no. He, he, he won't tirade because, you know... Asshole! do that. Uh, anyway... You have to edit I know. all of that out. I, I only said it twice, in all fairness. Like, that doesn't make it better, but... He, it just, he bugs me. Uh, this was always the worst. I was saying bias is the worst customer I ever had. For a reason, I'm, oh. He rants, and he did the thing, was like, what's your name? Go. And I just point to my Get name up. tag. Get up. Get up. That's rude. Thank you. I, I just point to my name tag when he did. But anyway, he did the, uh. What a move, just. What's your name? Yeah, so, uh. You want a tirade, like, I came here just for this. What's your name? And he asked who my manager was. It's like, and I said, uh, I said the manager currently at the store should be. And he's like, no, no, no. Who's your manager? And I was like, are you an idiot? Are you stupid? It's like, what do you, you want? What do you want me to say? <laughs> do you want me to get you like the head of the company? Touch I'm telling. Touch my bicep. He has a terrifying back. Yeah. His back looks like abs. It does. He has backups. 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 Ba oh, oh, I thought that rock was a Pokemon. I got so excited. I was like, ooh, Pokemon coming out. Like, I, I, that's always something that kind of weirds me out about Machamp. He doesn't have, uh, he doesn't have, like, two, uh, four arms coming out of his side. He has two arms coming out of his side and two coming out of his back. And it's kind of discomforting. Because he has four, because he also has four sets of shoulder blades, and yeah. that's what we were looking at. He's a mildly terrifying Pokemon, at least from behind. I agree. Whoops. I anyway, uh, so I told him like the manager who is currently there. He's like, no, no, give me your manager, and I'm like, I also have never met the store manager, mostly because I was at offsite for the, so like, I was three blocks away from the store I worked for, but uh. Yeah, that setup was so weird to me. It like, was. I found out it's a common thing. They're called off-sites. But anyways, so the store I worked for, I told him that if you go to the store, you'd have to ask for this manager. And he, he's like, I'm going to file a complaint. G give me your name. And then he drove off. Um, I, I have to go to the store at the end of the day, every night, 
Why'd you take a picture of that seashell? Because I felt like it. I have to go to the store at the end of the day I it was green. every day. Uh. Uh. And when I went there, I spoke to the manager today. I was like, hey, did this guy come up and, like, complain about me? And she's like, no, no one, no one complained about you. And it's like, didn't even follow through. Yeah. That's the most annoying thing when they're like, oh, I'm going to do this. And then they don't. You're like, dude. Don't make on. empty threats. If you're going to report me to the manager, report me to the goddamn manager. Yeah, they're like, not going to care. It's like, come on, report me. So they can know how much of a total d-bag you are and that's why they don't because they know that you're gonna sound like a total d-bag like that's the thing yeah. if you don't report someone you know you're wrong yeah you have to on some level know you're wrong because you know you're not gonna get sympathy mm -hmm. like if you... <laughs> executor has a dumb face like i don't know you think you should do that one i think the one that that's one? a little bit further out i think that one's a bit too close this at one? least hit that has his full body in frame okay Look at how cute they are. Um, so about your liquor. So liquor's locked up. Whether it's because the store itself chooses to do that or the company that makes the alcohol chooses to do that. I'm pretty sure it's usually the alcohol company. I think it's the store because I've worked at two stores and like it's for the same company. But one had a, what, the store I work at now doesn't keep it locked up and the one I used to has it locked up. Interesting. So, um, I, so I think it's the store policy. Maybe. Um, Dude, those back abs are terrifying. I don't know. So, <laughs> head tilt? Huh? Voice up. Heck yeah. I think you've told me this story in particular. Because it's locked up, uh, we have to have a key. And the key is kept at... A specific place where only the person running that place can get into it so whenever you need to help someone in the liquor department you have to get the key from that person and then you have to walk all the way to the opposite end of the store to like unlock the thing and like get it out and whatever and then once you get it out because it's locked up you have to take it right to the front and check them out because they could, theoretically, the reason they're locked up is you could get it out for them and then they could just walk right out the door. Yeah. Because there's a door on that side that we can't see. Um, and I had a dude complain to me about how they had to wait, about how he had to wait um, for someone to unlock it. And he was like... So every time I want to get something out of there, I have to wait for someone to come around and unlock it. And I was like, yeah. He's like, well, there's some stuff for this for this that's unlocked, though. And, like, this isn't any more expensive than that stuff. And I'm like, kind of is, but okay. Um, it's also usually the hard alcohols that are locked yes. up. Yes. It's like the whiskey and the, like, vodka and whiskey, stuff. Whiskey, bourbon, vodka, but really big things of vodka are not locked up. Yeah, that I find weird. Um, but usually it's like wine that isn't uh, locked up. Yeah, and then like tequila and things like that isn't locked up. But it's like very specific things are locked up, even though some of the same type of alcohol or whatever isn't locked up. I think it's because those are hard to sneak away with. Yeah. And most and pretty much all of the ones that are locked up are glass. So it's like, <laughs> all right. please don't break everything. You can go on. And so he was like, that's so stupid. And then I was, and then I was like, yeah, well, fortunately, that's just that's how the store works, and I think it's kind of dumb too, but whatever, because you know, whenever you have someone that's really adamant, you just kind of like pretend you agree and move along. Yeah. Because if you f f fight back on them, you're gonna f explode. Um. And I was like, okay, so are you done shopping? Uh, s or do you wanna do you want me to hold this at self checkout until you're ready? And. Most people are like, oh, it's, I still have a few things, you can hold it at self-checkout, that's fine. Or, they'll be like, well, customer service, I should say, not self-checkout. Um, and then they'll be like, or they'll be like, oh, I'm done, let's just go, and then I'll ring them up for it right then and there and ring it up with everything else. This guy, however, I said that and he was like, well, if you can put it in my cart right now, I'll go check out right now. And if not, then you can just forget about it and I'll go somewhere else. And I was like, yeah, I can put it in your car. I just have to walk up with you. 
and he was like why i'm not gonna i'm not gonna take it or anything like i'm literally checking out and i'm like it's just policy like it's for insurance purposes i have to walk up with you and i was walking like a little ahead of him too it's not like i was staring at the cart the whole time like you trying to take it you trying to take it yeah you try to take it but he was so adamant about it and then he was like as he got into the into the normal line because it was like it wasn't busy or anything so we just got into a different line the i heard i heard him just go this place is so stupid i should just go somewhere else i'm definitely not giving my business here anymore and i was like good go away yeah i'll, I'll make it clear if you're not following the store policy we don't care if you don't come back. My my favorite is when they're like, well, I'll just go somewhere else. I'm like, okay. okay. You think I give a single they'll... fork how much money this company makes for how little they pay me? You wrong, dude. You wrong. The company doesn't even care. You think they mm -hmm. care if they lose one customer? Mm -mm. If there's like a sudden boycott of people who are upset that you have to like unlock the liquor and have someone walk up to the... Uh, thing with you then they'll be like okay we need to change our store policy or maybe they'll just move the cabinet back to being right next to where the key is as opposed to the other side of the store yeah but i i have, I have to say we're not gonna have time to start another thing mm -hmm. we're at 40 minutes but yeah it's like don't get upset at us because we have to follow a protocol yeah we have a job yeah Today, last thing though, today, uh, one, the, the Karen that I had to deal with was someone who, when I am a manager person, I hop on the register when it's busy and I get off the register when it's no longer busy. And I never turn on the light for my register because I know that if I do, people will never stop coming into my line and I'm not a checker and I have to be watching other people and doing other things. Um, so I helped one person with liquor. A nice person, a very nice, a very nice lad. And I was bringing them up for liquor, and then I signed off, and this lady starts walking into the, la into the lane, and I'm like, oh, sorry, ma'am, I'm closed, but five and, tw uh, like, five and three, or whatever it was, are open right now, and they're not, and like, so you can go over there and they weren't busy at all they had like one person each and they were already almost done and she was like well then turn your light off and i looked at the light and i looked at her and i said oh ma'am the light is off and she was like she looked at it and she went i could have sworn it was on did you just turn it off and i'm like no ma'am i never turn my light on when i'm over here i was just ringing up someone with liquor and she was like whatever just don't turn your light on and i was like didn't not gonna go away please yeah and that person is someone who's always in the store and they are always always a terrible person yeah i feel like i i feel like if you're always that terrible you should i feel like there should be an option to like there should be an asshole tax <laughs> I feel like there should be a button that you get that you like get tax and it go and it like uh it's like a tip you mm -hmm. have to give an employee a tip if you're going to be an asshole to them oh dude we have signs all over like the doors and everything that are like no tipping it's part of our job to help you and i was like oof yeah anyways someone uh, got very mad at one of my coworkers for not taking a tip oh yeah and uh, i was like I'll be honest, <laughs> we're, we're not supposed to, but if it's like, if no, if a manager can't see it, I'm just going to take the tip. One guy was like, you're doing, you're doing great. He like, I think he knew we're not allowed to take tips. So what he did was he walked in and was like, you're doing great work and just slipped a hundred in my pocket. See, now that's great. Uh, no one would ever do that. Yeah. At our store. That was like the, ever. that was they'll, the, they'll usually give you like $2. They'll be like, oh, I have change here. He was the nicest guy ever, and I kept that in my pocket, and I never told any uh, manager. Because that was, that, that was like, oh, I just happened to have $100 in my pocket later. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Whoopsie poopsie. Um, yeah, anyway, I, we have to end this. Real quick, today someone was getting um, <laughs> someone's 
like friend's daughter, their dog was um, like struggling a bit health wise. So they got a tiny little plushie that looked exactly like the dog. And she was short like a dollar. So we covered the dollar. And like the way her entire soul and heart melted, cause she was like, you're gonna make, she teared up and she's like, you're gonna make a little girl very happy. And I'm like, this is why I live here. Yeah. This is why I live here. See, if you're nice, we'll do nice things for you. It made my whole day. I was always, like, oh my God. Always I mean, other that. than getting to decorate a cake and pet an actual dog that always, was six months old and teeny. Always remember, if you are nice to the employees, they'll be nice back to you. Yes. If you're if you're terrible, we're going to te- we're going to get you out of there as fast as you can and give you no benefits. Yes, and also definitely bad mouth you to everyone else. Yeah. And put Anyways. you in a black uh, like a black streak on your record. Anyways, uh, now we have to end this. If you say real quick, I'm going to slap my hand over your mouth. Real quick, look at the cat. <laughs> Shut up. No. <laughs> I've been the Game Hero. I've been Ollie. Follow me at the Real Game Hero. Follow me at, uh, I almost said at Ollie. And I was like, that's not right. At Alexa or at Alexa underscore art. Because you never say your full username. I really don't. I don't like to. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like you pick this username but you hate it. No, I like it. It's just I don't like saying the full name. I'm like, just Ollie. Ollie's fine. Yeah, but it's Alexa. Yeah. It's almost like you actually make it harder for people to find you. Yeah. Because you're like... Oh, hey, it's Ollie. So in the episodes where we don't say what your uh, what your Twitter handle is, no one will ever know. Oh, uh, it's usually, it's always in the description. That's true. Uh, and if I did art, it's at the end of the episode. All right, I gotta edit this, and then we're gonna go to bed. It's late. I gotta sleep. I had a nine-hour shift. I'm tired. I had an eight-hour shift. And I... No, you didn't. You had a six-hour shift. Oh, that's true. It feels Dirty like liar. It, was, it feels like it was eight hours. <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> and the children are playing. Good night, or good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. Shut the hell up! <laughs>